What is up? What is happening from Pemberton here? This is the third day of our British Columbia trip. It's a new location. The trails here are meant to be sick. Let's find out where we're going. Sean has been shuttling us up and he has also been our guide. Where are we going? Yeah, well, we're going to do a Pemberton classic. We're going to do Rudy's to Upper Mackenzie. Uh, excellent downhill full of some nice loose corners, some steep terrain and uh, fantastic views. Sounds perfect to me. Let's yeah. get this day started. Awesome. Everyone ready? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. What's wrong? Fry was getting sandy on the way up, so. Um, yeah. Sorry, Matt. This is Eddie. Hey, guys. AKA Hello. Guacamole. Okay, guys, I'm, uh, you I'm trying to be a YouTuber and like just having a good time today. And we're going to have a beautiful ride today. So the day is awesome and this yeah. is a great place to be. Now, it's something that we've not really talked about for a while, but it's important that when you're out riding, that you do take some snacks with you. Out here in Canada, the snacking is amazing. However, when you're out mountain biking, make sure that you leave no trace. I don't know if you're about to see it, it was just like 10 meters off track. Yeah. And it was, just, it was pretty there? big. There's so many everywhere. There was a bear just oh. there, shat my pants. <laughs> and it was running down the trail. No, but it was like on side and I could hear this like, like padding.
Well, it's our final day here in British Columbia and we have ended up in Squamish. Yesterday's ride in Pemberton was absolutely insane. Rudy's to Mackenzie Cruise to Lower Back Pain and then finishing up on Hawaii too. We then went and had an incredible burger at mile one. So, so good. So that's definitely a recommendation if you're in Pemberton and needing fueled up after a ride. Today we're in Squamish. We're doing this before we head to the airport and the first trail that we're gonna ride is Half Nelson. So we have made it up to the top of Half Nelson in Squamish. Lovely little fire road climb to sort of warm up, get the legs moving again. This is meant to be one of the more flow trails here. There's a lot of big berms, there's some jumps. It is rated a black trail, but it's meant to be super, super fun. And I'm excited to get on it. Let's get this day started. Let's get riding some bikes and let's have some fun. That was the highlight parts of Half Nelson to Fool's Gold. We've now done another climb out of that area and we've arrived at Power Horse Plunge. And the one thing that I do love around here is all the forest, it's totally green. And there's these crazy kind of mossy things growing in all the leaves, and the branches, and it just looks insane. Let's drop into this trail and see what it's like. Tasty little climb. This forest is just so incredible. Yeah. It's like amazingly green. Okay, second climbing challenge. Unfortunately, didn't clear the climbing challenge. However, we're up at the top of the trail now, and this one looks like it's gonna be some sort of more traditional stuff that you used to see on the internet of Squamish. To start the trail, there is one really cool big rock roll. This is gonna be sick. This is really what you can imagine when you come to Canada as the big rock rolls. Sort of the more technical rocky sections. But apparently, it's really fun, fast, and flowy. Let's get on it.
that is a wrap on the trip here in British Columbia. Three and a half days in the Yukon, riding some of the very best stuff. Then another three and a half days here in British Columbia. Three different locations, three different zones, and it's been absolutely incredible. Loved every second of it. Finishing here in Squamish has been insane. Now I've got to pack everything up and head to the airport. If this is a trip that is of interest to you, then make sure you check out the link, which will be in the description down below, and that will take you to Mountain Bike Worldwide, who puts on tours like this. See you guys back in Scotland.